Blanco Flawless. Here to answer a couple questions. Been seeing a lot of uh, movement on the DMs, I guess personal questions, but not so personal that I can't answer them, so I don't mind. One of the first questions is, where am I from? I was uh, raised here in Dallas, Texas, small suburb, Carrollton. I'm originally from Chihuahua, Mexico, though. I am full-blown Mexican. I mean, I guess that's why you can describe the work ethic. You know, that's why I work seven days a week, about 100 hours a week. What's my motivation, you know, or was it what inspires me? And uh, my pops is one of the biggest things that inspires me. You know, he, uh, he got as far as he got. So, you know, as, a, as his son, I feel like I have to pick up the baton and, and finish off the race for him, you know, so. One of you asked, uh, what do you like outside of cutting hair? Absolutely nothing. I can you ask that? Nothing, no, I'm just kidding. Definitely car, shoes, and cutting hair. It's the lifestyle. How many cars do I own? The goal was to have just one for every day of the week, and those are my personals, you know. And then, I, of course, I do have the my side gig. I, I can't even I can't even count for it, to be honest. Uh, the seven cars for seven days of the week: uh, 750 LI BMW 2013, 2008 S550, 2004 Mustang GT, a 2017 uh, Dodge Challenger RT, 2008 uh, Denali, and. Uh, I feel like I'm missing one. Oh yes, the Jeep, the Jeep, the new edition. Yeah, that's it, like a 2009 uh, Rubicon uh, lifted and kind of stunned like a uh, young Dolph out of Memphis. Favorite place to have traveled. I'm gonna speak on Australia because I just got back from Australia. I was absolutely uh, surprised by it. It was a place that I never expected uh, to look the way it did. Definitely didn't expect it to be as Americanized and uh, as organized as the United States. So definitely took me by surprise. I thought I was gonna run into a, the, the kangaroo jack and I thought we were gonna be in the outback or something. And I ended up like in a badass penthouse that it was in the middle of the city, surrounded by buildings with the beach right next to me. So definitely uh, the best experience I've had thus far. Of course, it was a 20 hour flight to get there. So it's a little, takes a little bit from the trip, but at the same time, I really enjoy my flights. I love planes and I love uh, the fact that when I'm in a plane, my phone's off so nobody can get a hold of me and I can just watch movies. Those are a couple other things that I do enjoy. It's, uh, you know, when I have some time to catch a couple flicks, uh, just to lose sight of reality. And of course, when I can catch a flight, uh, I definitely like to know the model of the plane, uh, the size, the fuel, you know, just, uh, I like the details of planes. Yeah, it's, it's something that's genetic for my family. Life is limitless, you know. You, you can go wherever you want. You know, you just gotta pursue it, and you gotta be consistent, and you definitely gotta work your ass off. So, as long as you do that, you know, life will take you where you want. Celebrities that I've cut, I think the, the, the most recent ones will be like uh, Anuel AA, which right now he is my favorite uh, trap artist. So, you know, that's a absolute uh, blessing, you know, that I even had the opportunity to meet him and cut his hair, you know, so that, that to me, is a trip. Was that last year or this year? Uh, I think it was this year, not sure. Yeah, yeah, I think it was the beginning of the year. All right, so this one is the, the one heavy hitter, you know. Someone asked, uh, what was my last job before cutting hair? I can honestly say, basically, I didn't have one. But there hasn't been no job. I think I worked at Wendy's for like two hours one time. Man, as soon as lunch came around, I had uh, one of my friends pick me up and I never went back. You know, so definitely, uh, I think that's the last time I ever really had a job. Like I tell most people, hustlers, bosses, uh, entrepreneurs, you, you're basically born and destined. And to begin with, you really gotta learn how to lose because you're gonna lose more than you're gonna win. But once you learn how to lose, you know, the victories are much sweeter. It's been uh, a wonderful experience for me, to be honest, for the simple fact that how much uh, it's, it made me uh, grow emotionally and the way you learn to control your emotions just because you're put under pressure so many times. Like they say, uh, pressure makes diamonds. The more pressure and heat, the better quality diamond you become. So definitely stay in, uh, in the heat and pressure and uh, just make sure that you shine when it's time.